Hello there, Internet! Version 2 of Let's Play Legend, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And today, I don't know. Oh, that's a good idea. Nah, I'm kidding. We're gonna talk to the old skipper. Yo ho ho, so my ship wasn't here either. Um, it's fine. And we're gonna try and find his ship. Arr, yar, you found the clue. You know the place, some sort of thing called an housing? Arr, arr, that's amazing. Yar. Pirate sounds and techy sounds don't really go well together, do they? This time we'll definitely find my ship, boy. Arr. Ready to set sail? Arr. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that because it's just, it's just not working. He's n there's the shittiest pirate dialogue I've seen since. Insert some shitty pirate thi Tre Treasure Island. Go to Treasure it's the shittiest pirate accent I've heard since Treasure Island. How are we going to search this whole huge sea, huh? I have no choice but to ask you to do it for me, Zert. So let's get cracking. Whip! There is a high probability that the ship is currently hidden from our view, Foyp. But if we attack it, then we might catch a glimpse of it. Fair enough. Alright, so let's head this way. In what general direction? Okay, somewhere over that way. So you know what I'm going to do? Along this line here. Zoom out. Okay, so... Somewhere there, 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 or there. What's the better that circle there? So it looks like oh my my things are a little bit off. So let's go back to the map, because mine turns out these dust nuggets are a little bit off. So it's probably not that circle. So let's put them he all here. Now it's dust and see that they're more accurate. Yeah, a little bit. Alright. Onward. Through the sandy seas, or water seas, or both, both works too. And I, oh, no enemies on that. Strange. One thing I'm confused at, when we first got on this, go away spin, no one gives a shit about you. When we first got on this boat, oh dear god, this. we're being ambushed aren't we? Assholes. When we first got on this boat, didn't it look like it was sand walls on the sides? of the water, but now that we're in it, we can see, like, out past underwater. I'm con- I I'm confused. I don't actually- Like, cause, you can see past, like, uh... I blow you up. You can see, like, past the, um, whatchamacallit, the edge of the thing. Like, past the edge of where the dowsing act- the time shift stone actually affects it. That kind of confuses me. Ah. Uh, Oh. But yeah, I'm quite surprised that the pirate captain, skipper, whatever you want to call him, actually knew that um, he was only alive because of those things. But that actually shocked me. Because the other techies, I still don't actually know what they're properly called, so I'm going to continue calling them techies. But the other techies seems like they just returned and they had no idea that they had even died off or anything. So they just continued working and doing whatever they were doing. So somewhere of that direction. Alright, let's go back to the map. Alright, so... Up there... It probably would help if we actually zoomed in. Like, and stayed correct with what we're actually facing. Because this zoomed in map is much more helpful. So I'm just putting a line of where they might be. And hoping that's right. And it doesn't look like I've put them even close to. Do you reckon they know I'm here yet? Ah. So, how close are we to it? Just follow this line. Because it looks like it's just going to be somewhere near the beginning. Which means we sailed around this entire sea just to go back to the beginning. I am dousing for the right thing, right? Yeah, the ship. Wait. I like uh, go back. I like, just saw the aiming things like move. Although it is possible that the ship's moving. Is it? Is it possible that the ship's sailing? Is that possible? So I'm guessing it is. Dang. 
Is it Sally? Is that it there? No, it's Cloud. God damn it. Stop moving around so much. Okay, you know, I'm just going to stay in dousing until we get really close to it. Let me leave it. Let me leave it there. Is it? Yeah, the ship's. God damn it, the ship's moving and it looks like it's moving at some pace too. So maybe my maybe my dousing targets were my beacons were accurate at the beginning, but because the ship moved. Did I hit it? There we are. Did you see it? Yes, I did. We must pursue and keep pounding with the cannon. I'm not very good at this, am I? This might take a while. Hey, try that! Where'd the bastard go? It's up there. God damn it. It's getting away from us. How does this thing get away from us? I'm... Ah. I just saw... I, I just... I knew I was aiming at it just then. God damn it. Ah. This is frustrating me now. I can't stop and aim at it. Where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where are you, where are you, where are you going? Wait, stop, stop. Come on, the wrong direction, dude. Go. Ah, God damn it. It's cat. There we go. Aiming this cannon thing is very difficult after you just exit it and you're trying to rush to find it. But there we go. That didn't take too long. So why were we bombing your ship? Like, d you wanted it back, so we go off to it and start shooting the shit out of it. Seems to not make as much sense as I thought it would. Oh my god, Link. You look so boss climbing that. So. Ship. Oh, that music. Sand ship. So this is where the flame is, does that mean this is the dungeon? Because if so, this would be a weird dungeon. Like, a weird place to have a dungeon. Yeah. Pardon me. Alrighty. Looks like time shift orbs are going to be quite a prominent thing here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Alrighty, so, um... Sand ship. <laughs> Nothing there. I don't actually know how I destroyed both of those when I did a vertical spin, but what else? What does our map say? It shows there's a locked door there. I'm gonna point it there and go center, because that's way off. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, apparently those rooms are also the same room that we're currently in. Awesome! Alrighty! So, um, let's see. There's a door somewhere here. There's a door right there. Why's the pirate guy? Oh, actually, that's right, the pirate guy can't actually come on here because, you yeah. know. Eh. It's like proper doors. What was that? Wait. Chair. Heal me. This is awesome. How did I not find out about this earlier? Yes. Stand up. That is so sick. The fact that you're able to do that. That is just kind of broken, but whatever. Burn statue. All right, locked door there. I think there's a locked door that the thing was showing us about. It's down here. Hey, just fellas. Or sand. <laughs> oh, I'm so immature. And mean, too. It's blowing around these poor guys. Hey, I see things over there. This place is very strange looking for a dungeon. Reminds me of a... Well, what was it in... I think it was in, yeah, Twilight Princess. Where the, um... That 
ice cavern dungeon thing. That place to me was very strange. Yeah, the ice dun the ice mansion or whatever it was in Twilight Princess to me was very strange. Like I don't I didn't get that place. Alrighty, um So what are we drawing? I'm trying to draw the bird again this time? Actually not, let's do this. Best fucking Triforce out! Yeah! I'm pretty sure if you actually draw it close to being accurate, you actually get rupees. Because every time I've drawn it, so it's not actually been the bird thing, I've just gotten hearts. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't bother me too much. Alright, sand. See? This is why it doesn't bother me. Because it's rupees. Oh. Dead end? Wait, check the map. It's really a dead end. Oh, yes. Okay. Fair enough. I know what pirate ships are like, invisible walls and shit, just everywhere. Alrighty, so, what do we got up here? I see you bats, come on. You guys are shit compared to man bat. I mean, shit as it is. That heart oh, was on that lantern right there. Silly hearts, you don't belong on lanterns. Really? Got this awesome ship here. It's infested with assholes like this. Hey, guess what? Catch! Dumb bastard. Deserve to die. Alrighty, um, I'm guessing. Wait, would we be able to cross that? I'm wondering if we could actually run across that or not. Like, it looks like it might be a bit too far, but it also looks like we have no other choice. Hey, hearts! Awesome. Anything that. No, that one's blocked off. That one's blocked off too, isn't it? Alright, so, uh, run! Am I gonna make it? Just. God damn, that's brutal. Alrighty, a lot of locked doors here. I want to invade people's cabins and... I shouldn't be break. Actually, I should be breaking this stuff now, I don't... It, there's a chair upstairs. So, if I ever need hearts, I know where to go. Alright. What's down here? You see, this doesn't feel like we're progressing at all. It feels like we're just walking through, killing things, and generally just exploring and not actually getting anywhere. Alrighty, it's down here. Whoa! Get off the walls and the roofs. Go! Come on, go back, go back. I'm the reversible Ouija, bitches. He sucks in ghosts, the blow scorpions away. I guess that's a reverse. Wait, don't jump at me, go back. Can't let one get past. Damn face hugger copycats. Get back, bitches. Go on! Go! Go on! Back! Rush your mates! Go on! Get! Go on! Go on! Get back! Yeah! Get off the wall! Get off the wall! Get off the wall! It's that one asshole there, bing! Persistent on not going back on the. Get off the wall! Hey! You made me do it! Turn around! Ah, for heck's sake! Get off! Get off! Go back! Go on! Get back! Don't want to kill more of you guys! Come on! Go on! Get back! Get back! Get the wall! Assholes being insistent not getting off the wall! Go on! Not gonna get off the wall, is he? Fuck this! No, wrong one. Blow up, bitches! 
Come on. Yeah. Oh, I'll stop all of them. Oh, still more. Uh, I'll still a lot of them, man. God damn. Hello. <laughs> Eh, <laughs> uh, that was fun while it lasted. And it's still lasting. And now it's over. Oh, there's another chair there. So, is there any chairs like freaking everywhere and I just haven't noticed them? Or is there just. What? Master, please stop telling me to look at shit. Like, just say, Master, there's this thing. Don't tell me to look first. I know it's sealed shut, I can tell. Door must lead to an important. There's been a lot of sealed rooms, stupid lady. God damn. Not very smart, is she, Fee? Alright, so there's another chair there. There's this here. I'm still not actually sure if we have to examine them for, for them to appear on the map or not. But I'm going to do it anyway, just in case. That is going to be a beam or some. Don't want to activate that just yet. And it looks like I want to get in there. I really want to get in there. So much booty. How do we get to, how do we get to there? So if we can get to that room that's somewhere there, we can get to all the pirate booty. I want pirate booty. Hey, I didn't finish blowing this. I'm a good cleaner. That's what I'm doing here, right? Nehru wants me to clean up her entire shit. Hey. Oh, you're back. I thought you were gonna be scorpions. But that's what I'm doing here. Oh, this guy's so electric? Didn't even know. But that's what Nehru wants me to do here, right? She wants me to clean off her ship and she'll reward me with a flame, right? I've completely forgotten. Um. What's through here? Hello. <laughs> Did I say a secret order thing? God damn it. Another secret order. I didn't like that last time. Oh, not that complicated here. Alright, go away, Sand. Hey. I see another one of you got. I see. Hey, I see a techie in there too. Hey. Uh, this is just too fun, man. Definitely one of my, definitely one of my more liked items of the game so far. Ringo beats the Gus Bellows, but Gus Bellows definitely comes in at a, at a second. Third? I don't know. I don't really use any of the other items much. Like lately, like lately, it's just been Gus Bellows and Ringo. I mean, we got the, we got the claw shots here. Like we got the claw shots from the trial, and we haven't actually used claw shots except for getting to the sea. Actually, no, oh, no, wait, sorry, my mistake, no. We used them a shitload in, um, Skipper's Retreat, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind me. Since Skipper's Retreat, we haven't used them. But I guess that wasn't really that long ago, so whatever. But, yeah, never mind me. I'm being an idiot. Alrighty. Uh, hey, no, don't want to lock onto the tech. You want to kill that guy. Ruby! Alright, so, um, there's all these things here that I'm assuming will tell me the secret order. But outside of that, I'm kind of I'm confused. What what order do they go in? Like, which one's first, second, third, fourth? That confuses me. Also, which way is actually up, down, left, and right? Does it like that's also confusing? Right, so I'm assuming up would be from here. So we've got wait. The red part. I think the red parts are numbered because I think there's a different amount on each one, isn't there? Yeah. Alright. So I'm assuming facing the door from this is up. So, um, left, pardon me, um, left, right, right, down. Left, right, left, down. Got it. Wait, what was that door? Is that door locked over there? Oh, it's a time blocked thing. So, left, Right, left, up. No? Oh, wait. Oh, what is it then? Or is it facing away, f or is it from the door looking at it? So if it's from the door looking at it, it would be right, then left, then right, then up, right? Yeah. So let's try right, left, right, up. Right, left, right, up. No. Left, right, left, down. Okay. Up, down, up, left. Up, down, up, right. Down, up, down, left. Down, up, down, right. 
There we are. Oh, the, the things right next to it that show you which way is up on the based on the red. Damn, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, it wasn't that hard. Anyway, what's three? Pirate booty. Pirate booty. I'm assuming this is going to be a dungeon map. It is it? Probably. Okay. Oh yeah, because the dungeon map wouldn't actually help us get anywhere at the moment because. Because, yeah, we're locked at the moment. But yay! Alrighty, so... Wait, was this... I think it was only that one key upstairs, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, I think upstairs was the only place with a key. Yeah, this game doesn't seem to like putting, like, you have one key and you can go to multiple doors at one time. And this game doesn't seem to have many keys in it either as well. So I remember back to Ocarina of Time, because I did Ocarina of Time like just before I did this. And I'm gonna keep reference and I'm gonna keep comparing this game to Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, because they're the only other Zelda games I've played. But in those, especially Ocarina of Time, small keys were a really big emphasis of it. Like, basically all of the puzzles were find the chest with the small key and unlock a door. Where this one, small keys have been a part of it, but I think each dungeon has had one, maybe two small keys, if that. It doesn't seem like anywhere near as big of an emphasis in this game. The emphasis in this game definitely seems to be doing things to just naturally unlock your way through the dungeon, which I, I much prefer. I mean, I must say, through my experience playing this game so far... Oh, God, I forgot about this. Yeah, I'd definitely say, with my experience of this game so far, it's definitely better than Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess. And now all the fanboys are going to say, Ocarina of Time's the best game. And now going to rage at me. I apologize. Should I give you guys my opinion on what Ocarina of Time is? I think I should. Ocarina of Time. Alright game. As a Zelda game, it's pretty good. It's very standard though. Like, compared to Twilight Princess and, um... I hear enemy music. Alright, these bats. But yeah, Ocarina of Time compared to Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. It seems very basic and simple. Like, it, like it's a very s simple game compared to this one in Twilight Princess Ocarina of Time. Like, there just doesn't seem to be anywhere near as much depth to the puzzles and stuff as this one. <laughs> and, like, it's, a, it's got a good length to it. Like, I'm pretty sure it has more dungeons than Twilight Princess, if I remember correctly. Well, I think two are. Like, two, I think. Where was that? Is that called small? There it is. Yeah. It definitely seems to be, um, a long game. Probably not as long as Twilight Princess though, because Twilight Princess has much more in-between stuff. But I think the reason why some people say Ocarina of Time is the best um, game ever is purely because of A, nostalgia. They remember it back, because a lot of people who say it are people who have been quite young, so every game... Oh, shit. Mid-boss? Because every game... Yeah, it's mid-boss. That's... Scarecrow. Oh my god, it's an actual pirate. It's Davy Jones! Run at me, bro! Okay, what's this guy? Target lock! LD002G Circo. Or Sir. Yeah, wait. Servo. How would you pronounce that? Circo? Scurvo? Scovo? Scovo. So LD002G Scovo. That's a Zelda bomb enemy name. This mutinous robot stole this ship from Skipper long ago. He still commands the ship today. What a dick. When fighting in a narrow space like this, it is more effective to use thrust attacks with your sword than to try to swing your sword wide, wide, widely. Is this literally a walk the plane battle and I have to force it off the edge of it? Also, why am I fighting the Skipper now. Oh, no, not the Skipper. Why am I fighting the Captain? The Captain Pirate now. Get off the edge, bitch. Get off the edge. Dick! Oh, dear God. Go on. Get, get, get back, bitch. Get out of the way. Go on. Back, you mates. Ow. Fuck off, bitch. <laughs> Whoa! That's gonna come closer, isn't it? That's 
menacingly what? Come on, matey! Walk the plank, you mateys! Arr! Arr! You be walking the plank! If you don't fuck off already! Hey! God! Come on! Get back! Ow! This guy's gonna kick my ass! Get back, bitch! Off! Walk the plank with ya! Yeah! Got the boat back! <gasps> Treasure chest! Does that just stop us from walking off the edge? Hey, it's gone. You know what? That was a freaking awesome boss fight. Master, there is a synthetic life form. There is a 99% chance that the pirate described... Um, it Wait. 99% uh, chance that it was the pirate described by the captain. I can't help but admire the tenacity it has displayed in staying alive and functioning all these years. Don't make me feel bad for him. But that was a beast boss fight. That is a completely different idea to anything else. Oh, push a guy back. That is awesome. You got the bar? Now you can hit targets at a very long range. Arrows also do a lot more damage than Deku. Oh, yes. The fucking bar? Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. So beast! Master, a report about the bow you have just obtained. Your bow's elasticity can propel arrows through the air with great force, allowing you to strike your targets from a- Yes! To confirm the control station with your bow, raise your bow by pressing B, then press 2. You can also shoot arrows to strike certain devices in order to activate them. Such as... That thing. I have confirmed that such a device exists on the deck. Fuck yes. However, it will be difficult to target it from here, so I recommend you return to the deck. Bro, I'm fucking Hawkeye. I can make this shit. How do I zoom? Okay, never mind. I think there's a pole right in my way. But the bow? Fuck yes. I'm sorry, but I'm a massive fan of bow and arrows. Not crossbows, like traditional um, normal bows. I prefer long bows to short bows. And unfortunately, this looks like a short bow. But I'm a massive fan of bow and arrows. I freaking love them. Anyway... I'm gonna smash this, and I'm gonna heal my hearts. But see, that's a good boss fight. Like, it's not based on damage, it's pushing a guy back until he falls back. That is an awesome idea for a boss fight. Anyway, with that done, I'm gonna save it here, and on the next episode, we shall be testing out our new sweet-ass boat. So until then, this is version 2, signing out.